Hi, this is Greg from Structural Toolkit. Updating a single USB license to reflect your updated subscription or new features can be done in a few ways, being either within Structural Toolkit itself or using the separate license updater program. Do note that the process for updating a network USB license is slightly different and we will cover that in another video. We'll go through updating the USB within Structural Toolkit first. So skip ahead in the video if you want to see the license updater method using the chapters below. The license updater is usually the most straightforward way to update your license as the process of doing it within SDK can differ depending on the version of SDK you are using. To update your license with Structural Toolkit, make sure the USB is plugged into your PC and open up the program. If you get a message saying that your single key is not licensed for this version, then providing you have renewed your subscription and just need to update it, then you can click through this message and you will be prompted to check the SDK server for updates. Clicking yes will then bring up another window that provides details on your current USB expiry date and the date it will be updated to. Applying this update will then update your lock and you will be able to access the latest version of Structure Toolkit again. If no license updates are found, you'll need to contact our support team to help you with your subscription. If the program says your single key is not licensed but then does not ask to check the server for updates, you will then need to use the license updater program instead, so skip ahead in the video to that section. If the program starts normally without any messages, it means your license is still valid for whatever version of SDK you are using. To update your lock in this case, you will need to navigate to the Help tab and providing you are using SDK version 5.5.4.8 or later, you will be able to click on a drop down below the Updates button and click Update License. If you are on an earlier version of SDK without this feature, then you will need to update the program first by clicking on the version number to the top right to download or logging in to our website using the login details you have been provided with. Alternatively, you can just use the license updater. To update the license with the license updater, first make sure you have closed Structural Toolkit and have the USB plugged in, and then open the updater. The license updater can be found within the program files where Structural Toolkit has been installed, or by searching for it in the Windows Start Bar. It will be called License Updater V2. Typically, the program will automatically detect the USB license, in the event that it doesn't, you may need to press the connect and detect buttons here. Below will be details on your USB license. It will show the currently set subscription date on your USB and your current license features, and doesn't reflect the license information you'll be updating to just yet. To update the license, click the update button and press yes. Your updated license information should then display. If no updates are found and your license still shows out of date, or the program is unable to detect your license, contact the SDK support team for help. Do note that Windows 7 does not have the necessary security requirements to connect to the SDK server, and the license update will not work on it in most cases. Ensure you're using a later version of Windows to update your license. That about covers the different ways to update a single USB license. Feel free to check out our website for other tips and videos. Thanks for watching.